Hello viewers, I welcome you all from HLT Tech channel. Today we are going to talk about the lookup column, uh, which is a column or a attribute uh, or a field in one entity that can be used in an other entity. Okay, uh, it means that in one entity there is a particular uh, attribute or field that you can call or use in an other entity. For that purpose you use a field type that is known as lookup column. For example, uh, in my custom module, we have two entities. The first entity is RO1 entity1, in which uh, there are uh, two fields. The first one is uh, name, and the second one is an option set. Uh, similarly, we have two values here. If we uh, click and see the values, here you can see that the name is test1, uh, it's a drop down. Uh, option is uh, option one okay uh, so if we go back and uh, see that these are two values now if we go in into an other custom entity that we created in our previous videos there is an entity which has some multiple fields that is name product id category warranty dimensions unit and uh, sales price okay so now uh, if we go and click here here you can see that there is a sales price that is this one okay so if we go back and uh, see uh, here now what we want we want to uh, call the value that is uh, uh, the entity that is test one value into this field going into settings and in settings I am going into customizations and here I am going to customize the system. Here in entities, I will go into the entity that is, uh, let me select it here. Uh, I will select the custom entities because we are dealing with the custom entities and this is the product detail. In product detail, if I go into the fields, here I have to add a new field. I'm going to add a new field that is a lookup field. So the name of this uh, lookup field will, will be RO1 entity value. Okay. For just, uh, you can name it as per your convenience. And I will select it as business recommended. And the value, uh, the data type will be a lookup column. Okay. Whenever we will select a lookup column, it will ask me that from which uh, entity you are going to uh, look or retrieve the value okay for that purpose I will select the product management product detail sorry uh, for product detail I am going to select uh, this value and I am going to click save if I go into views uh, sorry forms here in forms uh, if I go into the main form I must have to define the value here okay for defining the value here uh, I am going to uh, select it that RO1 entity 1 will be the value and uh, I am going to click save after save I am going to publish it and after that I am going to uh, go into the quick view form and here also I'm going to add the value of uh, this one that is R1 entity 1. Okay. I'm going to click save and publish. I will publish all customizations. <coughs> I will close it. And now after refreshing the page, I will go back to uh, the concern module that is custom module and product details if I go and click here here you can see that uh, there is a value that is R1 entity 1 that is a lookup field uh, and if I click here here you can see that all the available uh, options that were available are now visible here I will add this field and I will save it and you can close it so in this way you can uh, call uh, you can use a custom field 
that is uh, your concern field and if I say this is item number three I'm going to save it and similarly I can change all the values uh, because I have added an additional field here and for adding an additional field I have to update these fields because they are uh, initially the blank values and uh, we have to update it so, uh, this was about uh, lookup column in which you can uh, ma uh, change uh, you can retrieve the value of one particular field of one entity into another entity as a, a separate field of data type lookup column I thank you all for watching this video.